So I wanted to make a quick investment video um, just on things that I'm doing. Uh, you know, one of the things when my wife, uh, my ex-wife now, uh, after 21 years of marriage, wiped me out. Um, I had the uh, portfolio just perfect uh, situated. And one of the positions that I forgot about was I had uh, a good position in Sprott buying their stock. Now, you can also buy into their ETFs, and I've encouraged you to do that in previous videos. But, uh, so, you know, I, I, I always follow Eric Sprott. He's a genius. He's kind of like Rick Rule or, you know, anybody else you want to follow on YouTube. Uh, I like Arcadia Economics. You know, I just try to follow along on everything. But let's just hear what Eric Sprott, uh, is, with his year-end video, has to say. Real quick, I can't give you too much of the video but you can watch it on your own it's on youtube and it's free and have also uh the mainline institutions that are thinking about gold and silver i think the, the some uh, government agency in australia announced that they were going to buy some gold and or gold shares for the big super annuation fund so that's the sort of thing that i think is going to happen everyone can see what's happening in the currencies Everyone can see the plight that we're in economically, can't they? You know, we can have, I'd like to be a little bit diversified here with some asset that might actually go up when everything else is going down. Right, right. Which, right, they're not, right. which we can now say they're doing. At least they're just holding their own, right? Holding your own when everything's down 25 is a pretty good deal. Yeah, no no doubt about it. Well, all right, I, I'm with you. I mean, I'm with you, and that probably doesn't surprise anybody. Um, I'm excited about next year in general. Uh, I think there are a lot of things that are going in the right direction for us. Um, but there are risks. What what could really upset the apple? I mean, there are a lot of things that happened this year that we couldn't see coming. Um, what what would be some risk to this overall story, do you think, uh, to keep it from playing out as well as we think it's going to play out next year? I, mean, I don't think there's much, much, in, much in the way that would stop silver, okay? I mean, it's just been, you got solar, you got the electric theater, yeah. you've got, you have so many uses, you got the Indians buying, you got the, the Wall Street silvers buying every day. There's a lot of reason to think that silver just keeps going here. In fact, I mean, it, Wall Street silver is going to be getting a lot of uh, runway here with what's happening, right? Yeah. You can, in fact, I think I read that they wanted to move up one of the raid days to December 23rd. I think that's this Friday. Huh. Well, we'll see. I mean, did you, if I, did you see that Elon Musk follows Wall Street Silver now? As he should. Yeah, I mean, he's he like he just, he just started following them yesterday. He only follows 165 accounts or something, and he started following Wall Street Silver yesterday. I'm sure Jim is thrilled. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Our advice to Elon is you better protect your butt here. Yeah, and no kidding. Do, do what the Indians did. Buy early. Yeah, and it's not late at all. It's not late at all, considering the state the state of the silver market. Yeah. Uh, in terms of gold, gold's a tougher one because you know there's never a shortage of gold, right? I mean, every ounce of gold ever produced is still on the surface of the earth. Yeah. I think the only thing that we can hope is that uh, let's hope that Gad is right, that Ted Butler is right, uh, the other people who believe in a conspiracy. That there has been a conspiracy for a long time. Yes. Uh, also involving the central banks, the DIS, and all that stuff. And it's finally, we're at the end of the road for that. And, you know, things will be allowed to play out as they should have played out. So that. All right. So what, what they're discussing there is that throughout history, we basically held a 15 to 1 ratio between silver and uh, gold. Um, and uh, it's, you, you, the, I, I, the the bankers, you got to give them credit. The the globalist, uh, the the elite, right? You know they know how to play these things, and they have held silver down for quite some time. Uh, actually, much longer than I ever thought possible. I was buying it back in two thousand. Uh, think about it. That's that's twenty four years or what? Twenty two years ago, you know. Uh, but I think that the, uh, the whole scenario is coming to an end and I think you're ending up with your last chance, uh, to, to, to get into the silver market. Now, what I'm going to be looking for, uh, because I think the banks, you know, it's, it's kind of like the globalist, you know, they think they're going to fight Russia 
to the end when Russia's got a million troops pouring across the border in uh, Ukraine and uh, somehow they're going to win that war? No, no, I, I don't see it happening. But I mean, you know, I could be wrong. Um, same with uh, uh, silver. I don't see how they're going to suppress the, 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 the price of silver. Now, uh, I, I assume many of you, you might have uh, 401ks or IRAs and you've listened to Merrill Lynch. Or, uh, hey, by the way, I was telling you Wells Fargo would die. <laughs> yeah, they just got fined what, a, over a billion dollars for their corrupt practices. Uh, my community, they didn't listen to me. They're going to keep their money with Wells Fargo, as far as I know. Uh, so, you know, the, the stupidity of the world, right? Um, so that's why I've got to eventually sell this house and get the hell out of my community, because I've we've got idiots in charge of the uh, finance committee. Uh, you know, and that's, that's when you're beholden to other people, and that's what I'm telling you, you got to take charge of your own finances. And uh, But anyway, I think I, I'm just giving you some advice, and I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. All right. I think that the banks are going to make one last gasp on silver. Right now, we're we're up over twenty four dollars, and the spot that's the spot price. Now, the um, I saw on SD Bullion. I mean, they got a good deal on uh, Philharmonics twenty three. It's only three up, almost four dollars over spot, which uh, it brings it up to what twenty seven, twenty eight dollars an ounce. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to wait, and I, I might not get my chance. I've already got, you know, through the Sprott ETFs, I've got a great investment in silver. I've, man, I've already made $3,000, and, you know, after my wife wiped me out, I didn't have that much, you know, so I've only got, what, you know, $20,000 in an investment account, and, yeah, I've only made $3,000 in the last, what, you know, six months, so, you know, when, when everybody, well, what, what have you lost? Have you lost 30% of your retirement? <laughs> you, you trusting in your pension right now? I bet, I'm going to tell you, you better be not, you know, I, I, and I'm not trying to laugh at you. I think it's, it's, it's sad, but this is what your government has done to you. You know, now we're spending another, you know, as you know, in my previous video, we're sending another $38 billion to Ukraine, which is just insanity. Uh, y your government has lost its mind. Uh, it, the states, uh, we need a convention of the states and just to just dissolve the federal government completely. Uh, but, you know, you've got a lot of idiots in the United States who want to elect these people. Uh, of course, I didn't, you know, and then again, you know, I'm not allowed on YouTube to question the elections. Uh, I'm sure they were 100% above board, you know, uh, and how these idiots, uh, we elected a zombie and a, uh, a dead person in Pennsylvania. So I'm sure those elections were completely honest. Yes, indeed. But uh, so anyway, so I'm going to tell you my strategy because I'm going to back up the train. Uh, if we get one more big push down in silver, which I think will come, and I'll let you know, I'll try to keep the videos updated. Uh, I'm backing up the train. I'm going to buy a monster box. A monster box is uh, 500 coins. Um, and that basically just wipes me out. I, I, I have no more capital to deploy uh, at that point. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, I got to store it in a place that I won't tell you about. Obviously, I don't want to get myself killed for somebody coming in to try to rob me for, for, for that. And that'll be it, you know, and so then I just got to wait and see uh, what happens. I mean, there's no way, no way that, I, oh, yeah, that was the other thing. Ghana, Ghana just uh, basically declared, declared bankruptcy. Uh, they, 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 they've divested themselves of the, uh, of, of U.S. Treasuries completely. Um, and, and, and so that, that's, that's gone. Uh, the Bank of Japan, it looks like they're going down. Uh, they, 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 their bond market is gone. Uh, it, through the roof, I imagine that the Bank of Japan is going to go bankrupt here very shortly, uh, probably within the next month or two. Um, you've got, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, of course, you got uh, Great Britain. Uh, they, they're having blackouts right now. Uh, they've bailed out their pension fund. Uh, how long that's going to last, uh, we don't know. Uh, you know, just the fact that they had to bail them out. Um, and so that, that's, that's looking precarious at best. The fiat currencies are going down all around the world. Uh, it's, it's insane to watch it all. That's why I say this is watching the world burn. Uh, so this is my second update for this uh, uh, video series. 
Um, what else did I see today? Uh, there was one other uh, huge event besides Ghana. Um, daggone it. Well, of course, you know, in Brazil, the military has moved in. Uh, they're going to, uh, looks like, you know, they're contesting the election. And uh, I, I don't know if the military is going to take over the government with a coup. That's huge. I mean, you know, of course, I know you think, well, Brazil doesn't affect me. No, these things, that, that, that's what I'm telling you. You got to kind of watch what goes on around the world and, uh, and, and just pay attention and, and do the best you can. And, and, and that's, I, I guess I should like start a strategic investment <laughs> business or something because you got to watch the geopolitics and you got to watch the politics in the United States. You got to understand the tax laws and how they're changing. You know, uh, you know, when you got 85, the Democrats voted in 85,000 more IRS agents to audit every little penny that you make. And, and by the way, that's another piece of advice that I'm going to give you. You know, don't move more than uh Six hundred dollars or less. I, I five ninety nine. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm moving money around in little teeny increments. I move two hundred dollars here, five hundred dollars there, and every single day I move two to five hundred dollars between accounts uh, to 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 basically do investments and everything because you don't want that cropping up on the IRS radar. Okay. Because uh, anything greater than that is going to get reported at this point. Um, you know, it, which is insane. I mean, this is how how closely they're monitoring where your funds are going and what what's what's happening. So, ah, damn it, I can't remember what the other big event was with silver and gold. Well, let's just listen to one more second. Maybe this will clue me in. Would be my expectation. Uh, could the uh, the banks come back in and slam the silver and gold? Well, yeah, as you see. It see, that's what I'm saying. The banks could come back in and slam silver and gold. And that's what I'm waiting for. If it happens, I'm going all in. I'm going all in. And I'll let you know when that happens. But it might not. You know, I think that the, we're in the end game for sure. Every night now and they, they do that. <laughs> that's one thing they can do. They can slam it for a day or two. Whether they can sustain it is a yeah. whole different. Because we're going to see that their support position has grown here. And Thank God Ted Bunker's as proactive as he is and he's All right. So I guess that's uh, that's the last thing. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. I'm going to bed. Peace out. Stay free. I stayed up way too long tonight. Uh, I'll pay the price tomorrow. But my back was hurting, so I got this massage thing. By the way, my ex-wife, she did do one good thing for me. She gave me this massage thing for my back, and uh, it actually works pretty damn good. Anyway, peace out. Stay free. Good. Good, good, good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida.